Good morning. Um, I'm going to be teaching you today about Wick Editor. Um, it's a simple animation tool um, and you'll be able to get it online. Okay, so I'm on wickeditor.com editor. All right, so it's 1.919.3, the version that I'm using. So what we're going to be doing today is having a look at the simple animation part of your uh, control task. Um, obviously, due to the restrictions being lifted by the WJC, um, we are able to now provide you with some extra support at home, which is well needed and, and something um, we're all very happy about. Okay, so your um, animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the end goal is um, so that you can plan. And then I obviously, if you look to change, uh, create your own. So you can see here, the aim of your simple animation is to be a banner, yeah, like a leaderboard that we talked about um, in your theory, which acts as an advert for your uh, website, okay? So you are going to aim to create something that will look like an advert and create uh, this animation. So what you're going to need to do, if you go to your Wick editor, if I... Um, delete all of this and if I do a new one for a second okay so the first thing that we're going to look at is obviously the size now to do your banner you're going to need it a uh, different size so if we have a look up at the top we've got editor settings okay so up here you can change your background color and if you have your mark grid next to you okay um, and make sure that you're evidencing the marks as we go along. So this one could be classed as a, a backdrop with still. So you can choose the color that you want for your uh, animation. All right, so when you've decided upon your color, obviously print screen that and get that into your page. Okay, and at the moment we'll go back in and I did 100 for the width and 1000 for the height. Now, you can have um, the frame rate. We'll have a look at the frame rate and we'll just call this um, simple. Or we could just call it leaderboard. OK, but it's up to you. You know, it doesn't matter what you call it. All right. So the frame rate is the speed in which the frames will come through. OK, so um, the larger this gap, Okay, so if I had 120, then 120 frames will be uh, run per second. Okay, so the larger the number, the faster it will go. So you can play around with that. And if you have a look down the bottom, explanation of frame rate and timings, that's where you have a play around. Put it as 24, take a print screen. Put it as 15, take a print screen. And talk about the fact that you can speed up and slow down an animation. Okay, so I've got my backdrop evidence and I can now apply it that wasn't a thousand what did I do a oh, thousand hundred okay all right so now um, you can see I've got my shape if you eat that one actually looks a bit uh, tall I might do it for 700 okay so I've got my basic shape now right. onion skin in so up here we've got our toolbox. So I'm just going to show you how onion skinning can be used. So if I put this circle on and I put another frame, in order for me to see where the frame was before, okay, I can use onion skinning. All right, so it allows you to see the frames before. All right, so that's one of your marks on the mark grid. All right, so you talk about the use of onion skinning in your presentation, in your animation somewhere. Then we've got, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I, obviously I'm not going to use these, so I'm just going to delete these for now. And to highlight, if I click on the cursor, I can actually highlight, hold on, I've got to be clicked on there. And I can resize, or I can delete here. And if I've made a mistake and I want to undo, I can press undo there. All right. OK, so that's not what my animation is going to look like. Mine's going to be a banner. OK, so up here, so you've got your brush tool, you've got your pencil, you've got an eraser if you've made a mistake. You can put on different shapes, a rectangle. 
and what I'm going to be doing now is putting on some text okay so okay so we've got um, Okay, so because I'm going to be doing it coming up and down, right, so I'm just going to put the text on. So this is where it's going to start, and I want it to start off the page. Okay, so I want it to start off the page. Then, here's your timeline. Okay, so this is my first layer. This is my timeline. And what we're going to need to do is you have to I'm going to make it uh, this long. Here is your tween. I have to add a tween. Okay. So if you click on here, we can add a tween. And you can see we, it will now allow us to move it. So when I'm clicked on the second part of the tween, that's the start of the tween. And what a tween is, it means it tween in between. It fills in the movements in between two key frames. Okay, in between, tween, tweening, okay? So, we can now put that on. And if I, I can either move this along, okay, like that. Or I can just press the play and it will do it for me, okay? Right, so that's the first part. So, we've now talked about you've got tweening in your back, in your mark grids. We've talked about that, we've talked about onion skinning, we've talked about backdrops, we've talked about frame rates and timings. All right, so what I'm gonna show you as well is how to add images in, okay? So for your images, we've down here got um, built-in assets. So there's actually some sound clips in here if you wanted, all right? Or you can bring in some of your own. All right, so if you wanted to bring in, um, I'm just going to show you one that's on the sound as it is. So if I just put a blip, okay, and add as an asset, you can see it's now added to the bottom. In order to put that on a layer, okay, you have to add the layer, and you actually have to put, right, where am I going to put it? Maybe at the end, and you drag and drop that over a frame. All right, you have to put the frame in before you can drag it on, and you can make it larger and smaller, etc. Okay. Now we're going to add an image. So on your layer three, you can upload assets. So that sounds images from your user area. So if I upload that, I've just got a sun. Did it upload it? I'm still waiting for it. I'm not sure why that didn't upload. Right, sorry about that. Um, I have had to change to the other one. I'm not sure why it wouldn't bring it in. Okay, right, so I've brought in an image. Okay, I've brought in a sun. Again, I've resized it. And you start the first frame where you want the image to actually start. Okay, so here I've got my image on at the side. So what you then do, you'd insert a frame like you did before insert a tween and another tween so you'd have a start tween and an end tween and then you'd move it okay now for some reason it puts this one in the way which you have to delete which is a little bit annoying okay but we have to use what we have to use at the moment so we'll put the frame on add the tween and move it and you can see then okay I've got it bouncing around the screen so I just want you to have some fun and make yourself a leaderboard so we've got sounds so evidence putting sounds in evidence putting um, your different tweens in and use of onion skin in the other things I want to talk to you about so once you use it you if you have stop and you've got to go and do something else then you can save it and it saves as a WIC project. Okay, you can see down here. Okay, you've got a WIC project. Now, if you export it, 
Okay, you can't then bring that back in. It's a different version. It's a different file type. Okay, so you can export. And if you've got sound in, you use this beta version. Okay, so that's exporting, but I've done one earlier to show you anyway. Now, on your presentation, what you're going to need to do is have put it in your master slide. Now, if you remember, we go to your view, slide master, and you've got a master of masters at the top. OK, so you'll bring this into your master of masters. Now, the way that you do that is just not in inserting it as a picture. You will need to do it as a video, OK, a video on my PC. If you bring it in as a picture, it'll bring it in with um, black along the sides. And you don't want that. You want it to be the right side. So you'd input or port it as a video and um, bring that in. I'm not sure if that's the right one. OK, and resize it. And what you'd need to do is right click and you'd go to the start and make it so it plays automatically when you run it. All right. So then when we go to our master view and we run the presentation, OK, it will run it and it was automatic. Otherwise, it would only do it on the click. And obviously the click um, we're not going to be using. We're going to be using these. OK. So it will run automatically. All right. Hope that explains um, the different software and what you need to do. And that is your simple animation. And that is with um, three marks. So create a, t a three frame animation. You've got your onion skin in. You've got your tween in. You've got backdrops. You've got frame rates. So that's your first, first animation. All right, but have a play around and talk about all the different things right, that you can do. There's lots of different techniques that you could add in um, to help back up your marks. Good luck all.